So let's have a look at setting up VST Connect Pro for the first time. So here we have a blank Cubase project. So now we need to go to VST Cloud, VST Connect Pro, and we need to create VST Connect. Here is our VST Connect window. And as you can see on the left, Cubase has created a performer channel for us. Here is the VST Connect Pro window. And let's just have a quick look around here. The first thing we need to do is log in with our Steinberg credentials. So let's do that now. And now I'm logged in with my Steinberg credentials. So from here we have, if you look on the bottom left here, this is our buddy view. So we can actually find friends to collaborate with, to work with, our artist friends. We actually have a network so we can actually find users. So here I've added one of my friends I want to collaborate with. This is Dom and then I'm ready to work with him and set up things and we can start getting on with the session. So before we get to any of that, let's close down the connect window. So we have a performer recording channel which Cubase has created for us. We can also see that VST Connect is the input. So it's really important that this is the channel that we're going to be recording on. Now let's check the connections. Really important to check our connections. We can go to studio. Uh, F4 is the shortcut as well for that. Audio connections. Now you have to make sure that your control room is enabled. Now these all should be set up good to go, but just in case they're not, really important things to look out for is the talkback. We need that. We need talkback so we can communicate with the artists that we're collaborating with. I'm using a 24C at the moment, so input one is there for our talkback. We're not bothering about the Q, VST Connect uh, outputs because VST Connect Pro will take care of that. Our monitor is really important because obviously we want to hear what we're dealing with. Uh, if it goes into the speakers, I'm here in the studio, I want to hear what it sounds like coming out of the speakers. So we can close that down. To double check that, we can go to CR, which is our control room. So make sure that your QSend is blue, which is lit, which is ready. Also your top back is on, which is green. This will be really reflected in VST Connect, which we can check by going back to VST Cloud. And then we can go back to our VST Connect editor. So let's go back into VST Connect Pro now. So on the right is the performance mixer. And this is a two-way mixer. So you both have control over the levels and the volumes. When the artist on the other side has the performer app logged in, they can also then have full control of the levels and the levels become active and then we can work from them. Up here we have the monitor, which means that then we can choose to monitor the performance levels. We can actually have the talk back, so it literally is the talk back to the artist, so we can actually click it in, ask how the artist is getting on, are they ready to record, is the levels okay, okay that's fine, and then we can turn it off and then we're ready to go. So going right to left, here we have the event monitor. So when we've logged in on both sides, through VST Connect Pro on my side and the artist who has the performer app on their side, when we connect on both sides, we will see three green lights at the top for connection and three for performance. We want them all green to be in sync for our recordings, audio or MIDI to be in sync with the project that we're working on. On the left, we have the performer monitor levels, so we can choose to monitor that. We have dim and we have the VST connect level. And the real important button here is the talkback. So obviously with the talkback on, I can then choose to talk back to the artist like a mixing desk and find out how they're getting on, are the levels are okay, are you set up and ready to go? As soon as they are, then I can turn it off and then we're not going to get no feedback loops and we can record directly into the performer track in Cubase, which is set up to go. Just to double check a few things on that with the performer track, let's close this down a second. If we go to our edit channel mixer, we can actually just check and make sure that the cue sends are active. Close that down. Make sure we're ready to record on the selected track with VST Connect, which means then Everything is routed through on this VST Connect channel from the performer app side and the performer app will be directly recording into this Cubase channel. So we also have video. If we go to this third box here and click on it, we then get a video of the performer on the app through the performer app. We then get a video feed of the performer and this is fully customizable if we go to the gear icon and then we get the video and they can be in the big picture here. I can see the performer and then that's me in the bottom right hand corner and vice versa when they have the performer app on and then they will be in the video. 
We can also choose to break out the video. So we can actually choose to then move it to potentially another monitor if we wanted to. So now we're all set up to go. We have the video feed, we have our levels set. I can turn talk back on so we can actually start to communicate. I've checked all my settings. I've got my cues on. I've got my talk back on. I've got my monitor up to record and listen to things. I'm ready to go. So let's now look at the Performer app. So here we are in the Performer app. Now you can see the levels. So the levels here from the Performer side means they have full control over what they are doing. They have full control over their own levels, their own instruments, how it's going to go out. They even have access to reverb. So you can have comfort reverb in the headphones. We have compression and other things as well to work with. And again, it's the same process. They will literally go to their network login with their Steinberg credentials. So this will be your My Steinberg password, your My Steinberg email that you will log into on your Steinberg account. And as you can see, you'll see the video feed here, which will show me then in the smaller box, in the bigger box, and then them in the smaller box. And they have the same access to the tools from this side. They have the buddy view. And then just to show the mix on its own page, they can also get to see the video and then they can choose to break out the video and move it around if they choose to, to another monitor maybe. They also have the gear icon as well so they can choose the buffer size, upstream, downstream. They can also choose what video device they're using as well as quite a few other settings as well. So that was VST Connect Performer. That was VST Connect Pro. That is how you collaborate online with the new VST Connect Pro.